Okay. All right, guys. Namaste, Ji. How's everybody doing? Welcome to another very, very beautiful village here in Himachal called Sarchi. So Sarchi is basically uh, in the heart of Tirthan Valley. The last episode, Laida, uh, that's actually one of the sub valleys and not really Tirthan Valley, but it's pretty much in the same area. Sarchi is one of the most beautiful villages, like uh, perched high up and huge flat land. And uh, I'd come here last year with my in-laws and uh, we, we didn't have much time, you know, and I really, really wanted, uh, I told Bharti like, you know, we should come back over here and actually stay a night. And uh, that's why we are over here and also sharing this beautiful place with you guys. It's actually quite popular. A lot of people who actually come to Tirthan Valley, make sure that they come for a day trip to, um, to Sachi village. <laughs> Namaste. 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 ये फूल ये स्वच्छ जगह का जी जहां पूजा पाठ करते नहीं मां स्वच्छ जगह माता रानी आपकी मनोकामना पूर्ण करेगी जी आई एक्चुअली हैव लाइक प्रीटी मच ऑल द फ्लावर्स दैट आई गेट फ्रॉम ऑल द पंडित्स इन वेरियस पूजाज एंड ऑल आई कीप देम सेफली सो आई हैव अ बैग फुल ऑफ ड्राइड फ्लावर्स नॉट दैट आई एम रिलीजियस और एनीथिंग बट इट्स जस्ट आई थिंक आउट ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट एंड बिकॉज़ समवन हैज puts their good energies into something and is passing it on to you i think it's only fair to be respectful for those things and keep them safe well it's yeah. good energy for us yeah. also that's all that's all this <laughs> <laughs> this is a big uh, village huh very big village yeah. how many homes do you think over here i think 40 50 at least must be around 50 it's quite big and i think everyone has nice big homes <laughs> yeah, people have really big homes here. Yeah. Some of these houses have some really nice uh, quirky color combinations, some teal, sea green <laughs> type colors. Nice. So most people like come to Sarchi on day trips, like you know, and uh, even we had come on a day trip long time back, but then. Mm. But then you don't really get that real village experience, like early morning, especially because that's why I love coming and staying within the village because then you can experience like dawn and you know, and that's the time when the village is like pure and the sounds that you hear, people washing clothes and you know, getting about, you know, just starting their day. Yeah, that encompasses like an entire village experience for me. And that's why I love love mornings. Like I've, the older I'm getting, like the more morning person I'm becoming. <laughs> I've come to realize. Yeah. So a lot of villages have um, these anganwadis or daycare centers, which I think is really uh, quite cool because most women are out in the fields working all day, and it's for like really small kids from z like from babies to six year olds and for pregnant women and stuff. It's a nice place for them to hang out and spend the day while the mums are out in the fields working. Did you just say zero? Zero. From I said, then I said baby. <laughs> no, I corrected myself <laughs> because it says zero to six over there. Oh, it says. <laughs> so, wherever you go in Himachal, I mean these kind of rural areas and hard to reach remote places, chances are you will find a homestay, and uh, just like the one over here that we are staying in, and they're pretty much like you know basic level. Not to say there aren't any expensive ones. There are. Homestay is going for like ten thousand a night, also, but ninety percent of them are very budget friendly, basic food, basic room, and uh, that's what you need. Just to give you an idea, the family lives below. There are uh, three bedrooms in this one, I think. The bedrooms look something like this. Sorry, they're a little messy right now, but uh, yeah, you have a basic bed, a table and a chair, things to charge. Electricity is pretty much there in. most places yeah. isn't it yeah yeah anyway so you have this room that is the common area you guys can chill couple of more bedrooms i don't want to go there's another couple from delhi who's staying here uh this is the attic yeah even i've never seen an attic you know with slate roofs if you've ever wondered what it looks from inside this is it so you got slates everywhere you know big rafts big pieces of logs yeah i don't think it would leak 
I don't see any spots, gaps where it... I mean, there are gaps, but they're like... Yeah, the water kind of will flow down, I feel. Uh, so yeah, that's that. But uh, also another thing about Sachi, if you guys are looking for... Uh, like for the hardcore guys, if you want to go trekking over here, there's a place called Lumbri Top over here. About five hour trek. Highly recommend it. But more during the summer, I would say, yeah. Houses in this village are all like super sized. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such big homes and such big uh, gas buildings in like, yeah, anywhere. Every time Bhati and I like find or discover like a new village, you know, you go around in the village and the uh, people are like, you know, you should go maybe another 100 meters that side, there's another village over there. And in most cases, these villages turn out to be like mind blowing, you know, and so here we are in this beautiful village of uh, Jamala, I think, right? Jamala, right, uh, maybe about a kilometer above from Sarchi. Beautiful sunset, man. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Where are you My name is Eddie. Eddie? Yes. Yeah. Pushpinder. Pushpinder. Your name is? Moit. Moit. You are very good to meet all of them. Don't worry about it. Where are you going to sit? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. By the way, flying a drone never gets old. Doesn't matter what age, old, young. Everybody loves it. <laughs> One guy, did you see that guy? One kid, he freaked the hell out as if he saw some ghost or something. He ran away and I chased him. <laughs> he was so scared. <laughs> Rest of the kids really loved it. What do you Small joys of life. <laughs> Just about uh, one kilometer down from Sarchi, and then you find <laughs> this beautiful place over here. Feels like fall is on full on steroids over here. Good place for a photo op. Huh? Okay, so now we've come down to uh, this village called Gusheni within Tirthan Valley and uh, we're going to be staying at the very famous uh, Raju Bharti guest house. <laughs> so this place is like the granddaddy of all the homestays all around Himachal and uh, they've been around since 1990, so that's like 30 years. This place has been Bharti and my special weekend getaway from Manali uh, for many years now and uh, I wasn't exactly sure if I wanted to share this place with you guys uh, for reasons it is already so well known and uh, it doesn't really need an introduction but uh, for us no trip to Tirthan is complete without actually staying like at least one night over here I feel like this place is the true definition of uh, rustic um, Everything over here feels like it's not placed like it feels like it's it belongs there, you know uh, for example, there's this bench over here like it feels like it, it doesn't feel placed, it feels like it's been here forever and will probably be here in the same position for years to come, you know. And uh, every little nook and corner has something interesting to see or something with a big story behind it, you know. 
yeah you can even come with your entire family this is a pet friendly place uh, you know just chill out and really get that himachali countryside feel you know look at the amount of food on your plate <laughs> i didn't eat breakfast to justify i knew i was coming here for lunch so i didn't eat any breakfast today <laughs> mm that chutney is so good mm. oh too much too much okay ब्यूटिफुल